All right, what's up, y'all? It's Roy. It's Colin. And hey, we uh, we're gonna do another uh, Q and A for you. Um, we've got a question on uh, Facebook from Shauna, and uh, Shauna was asking about pre and post um, protein. She was saying that she was having like a protein shake or something, and I, I don't have it in front of me, so I'm paraphrasing. But she was saying that she was drinking like a protein shake before working out. She was feeling a little sluggish, uh, and just wanted to know what we thought about pre and post. Uh, protein drinks, I guess. And Colin's going to address that. Um, I just want to throw in there real quick that, first of all, that Shauna has lost over 120 pounds. What? That is crazy. 120 pounds. No more blood pressure issues. No more diabetes issues. I'm just saying. Hey, is that the cure? That could be cure-ish. I don't you know. know. Ish. You're going to get in trouble for ish. saying that, though. Yeah, you ain't even allowed to say that because... I don't know why in the hell you can't say that I, shit. I think, I think it was a cure. Though. Yeah, I'm just saying. It <laughs> seemed like a cure to me. It sounds like it. If it's there, now it's not. It ain't there no more. It didn't take no method or nothing. Yeah, weird. You know weird how it works. So uh, first, before Colin addresses that, I just want to say that, um, you know, your exercise, in my opinion, your exercise is something that you use to measure everything else you do. So your exercise tells you if you're if you're hydrated, if, if your nutrition's right, if your rest is right, what you can do when you're exercising. So... Don't lose sight that, that it's not just immediately before and immediately after your workouts that, that matter. It's it's right. what you do. The, if you work out in the morning, what you do the day before, what you've eaten, what you've drank, all that sort of thing matters. So um, so that's that's my little tip to you. So Colin's going to talk to you about uh, your pre and post workout protein. Okay. Um, back in the day, uh, we used to, and people still do it actually, they call it a protein shake. It's a supplemental meal, okay? Yeah. And to do a supplemental meal before a workout is, you know, if we're assume, I'm just going to assume that you're trying to lose weight, you know? Right. You're probably so, not trying to bulk up. Probably not trying to bulk up. If that was the case, then, you know, work, you know, doing the, the, the post meal, you know, would be important and, you know, go ahead and do it. But here's the problem with doing a, um, a post-workout meal. Pre- in pre workout, yeah, yeah. I'm, t I'm already on the end. Yeah, he's, he's watch after, this after workout. Watch this. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna cut it off. He's gonna cut it off. Pre workout, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'll cut it off. So he's talking about he will cut it off. <laughs> I gotta you know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> when you do a pre workout meal, if you're trying to lose weight, it's gonna be counterproductive. Because as soon as you ingest anything that, like a carb, when you ingest those carbs in your system, when it starts, when it's simplified, it's going to show up in your bloodstream as glucose, and then in your muscles glycogen, and then in your liver is glycogen also. So, in your liver at any given time, most people eat all day long, all the way up until time for bed, and then they wake up and re-ingest. So most people at all times have at least 500 calories from glucose. That you got to go through first. In their liver, okay? In your muscle, you know, a guy my size, Roy's size, we can have somewhere between 15 and 2,000 calories from, from glycogen. Glycogen, yeah. Glucose in the blood, that's what you ate last. Well, that's totally depleted after you come off your fasting period. Your natural fasting period. What is that? When you're asleep at night, you wake up in the morning and you eat breakfast and <laughs> you reintroduce that glucose. And if you're depleted in your muscle, you refuel that glycogen in your, in your muscle. And then whatever's left over in the liver, the liver's just going to be like, okay, here's your reserve, you know, if you need it. If something like a marathon or something like that, that would be important for those things. So why would you eat a meal before you go work out if you're trying to burn if you're trying to burn fat. Because you're going to have to you, burn that first. You decrease the plausibility of burning fat unless you go really, really long. If you do a really hard, long workout, it starts to become more of a fight or flight process. And you start to produce a lot of cortisol and a lot of a lot of things that cause inflammation. And, you know, your, your workout becomes more catabolic than anabolic. So you're tearing down more than you're giving your body a possibility of, of building and, and growing and and being, being something that you really want to happen. So basically, what I'm telling you is, 
the the pre workout meal, I keep on the same post. I don't know why. I, I want to go straight to the end because that's that's what people <laughs> normally say. Most people talk about the me. Post I don't I don't need a pre workout meal. You know, I, I I use intermittent fasting things of that nature. So I'm constantly saying pre pre pre. So post is um, is a foreign concept for me because it doesn't exist for me. To work to to eat beforehand is decreasing my plausibility of burning fat. The possibility or the or potential the potential to burn the fat. Okay, so stop eating those meals before, especially if your objective is to stay lean or to to burn fat. Right. Because you got to burn through all of that stuff first: the mm -hmm. glucose, the glycogen. The glycogen, so the muscle, the, the bloodstream, the muscle, the liver, all that has to be gone before you can burn That's anything true. from your reserves, which is your fat. The reserve that I'm talking about is, is the yeah. fat that you have. And that's all in that shake. When you have that shake before you work out, you're, you're decreasing your potential mm -hmm. for burning fat, which is probably what we're assuming, since you lost under 20 pounds, we're yeah. assuming that's, that's what That's got to be the assumption. Okay. If you want to bulk up. Do the opposite. And go ahead and eat, eat, eat before. That. What about you know? after she works out? What, what do you think about that? Afterwards, I would wait 45 minutes to an hour and a half. I, sometimes I wait two because you want your body to go into that reserve and use that for an energy source. That's what your body's eating if you want to if you want to get kind of simplified. You want your body to utilize your reserve. So after your workout, if you're trying to burn and you and you know you didn't eat before push that fasting period a little further and force your body to go in that direction. Make it adapt. You make it adapt. Make it Otherwise, adapt. if it, if you, if you're in there and you give your body all this food and all this stuff, and then you immediately start eating right after, you know, that potential has been decreased. Mm -hmm. So, so I hope that helps you. Um, like I said, so if, if you're going to do like, if you're looking for higher endurance, then do the opposite of this. You want to have some big carbs before you, mm -hmm. before you work it's out. It's going to make you sluggish. If you're, if you're looking to bulk up, um, you know, eat before you work out, eat mm -hmm. after you work out within 30 minutes or so, you know, have some high protein stuff. And, right. But we're assuming that's not what you're trying to do. So don't ever eat and work out like crazy. No. Um, <laughs> No. See what I'm talking about? No, see, now you get this, silly. Now you get silly. Now, now a lot of people's gonna be like, ah, oh. man, I didn't eat nothing. I died while I was working out. It's, it's all Colin and Roy's fault. <laughs> you do what you want to do, but we're please, just saying. Please share. Yeah, please share. Subscribe. If you'd like to get your question answered, there's gonna be an email uh, link at the bottom of this. Shoot us Where's it gonna be? It's Where's gonna be at the bottom of this. Look this up here, though. It's gonna be in the description. Do you so, really know where We're not advanced going? enough to put this shit on the screen. <laughs> we don't know how to do that. <laughs> Maybe get a cue card. Like, yeah. <laughs> the people be trying to click it. Man, this shit don't work. It won't let me click it. <laughs> so I hope that helps you, Shauna. Congratulations. You're inspiring people. Pounds. That's yeah. crazy. That's awesome. Thank That's you crazy. so much for that. All right. 15. Deuces 15.